Welcome to the third tutorial in our series about getting started with Excel Deploy. In previous tutorials, we talked about Excel Deploy's repository, which is where you store information about your infrastructure, environments, and packages. In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the way you define environments like development, QA, and production. An environment is a grouping of infrastructure and middleware items like hosts, application servers, web servers, and clusters that you can use as targets when you deploy applications. These are called containers. I'm going to create a development environment and add a host and an application server to it. In Excel Deploy, you can assign one or more dictionaries to an environment. A dictionary is a set of key value pairs. You use the keys as placeholders throughout your application. Then, when you deploy the application to an environment, Excel Deploy replaces the placeholders with the values defined in that environment's dictionary. My application requires several environment-specific values. Let's look at the placeholders for them. First, the application contains a database connection resource with two placeholders, the username and password that Excel Deploy should use when connecting to my database. The password placeholder is obscured here because this is a password field, but when I deploy the application, Excel Deploy will still replace it with the value that I defined in a dictionary. My application also contains a binary called payroll app. It requires a value for a repository location. The placeholder is located inside the payroll app artifact. Excel Deploy automatically detected that it was there. Now I'll create two dictionaries to store the values for these placeholders. The first one is a standard dictionary. I'm going to call it my dictionary and add two placeholders. One is the database connection username and the other is the repository location. Now I'll create an encrypted dictionary. This is a dictionary where I can store sensitive information that I don't want to be readable in the Excel Deploy graphical interface or command line interface, even for users who can see the dictionary. I'll call this My Encrypted Dictionary and add the database connection password. Now I can associate both dictionaries to the development environment that I created earlier. When I deploy my application to development, Excel Deploy will replace the placeholders with the values that I defined in these dictionaries. Now you should have a basic understanding of the way environments are defined in Excel Deploy. In the next tutorial, we'll walk through the initial deployment of an application to an environment.